Hi, this military model Paul with my, uh, my final reveal of the Flores action film group build. Uh, it's the Bon car from the, um, the Spy Who Loves Me and it's 124 scale Fuji kit. And uh, as I said, I did have a little bit of problem with this. I think I might mention it anyway, but I've replaced the, um, the actual whole top one with the new version, new kit kit and, uh, and I've got the plate finished. Now there's things I've learned about doing this build. I may even get another one and put it in my stash for a future build because uh, I've learned quite a bit doing this, this particular kit. Um, so anyway, so I use white glue to actually put the windows in the sides, the side of the, the, the thing, and a little dab of super glue on the bar side so that I could actually get a bit of super glue and, a, and the actual wood glue. Once it was in there, I, I, when it, well, it was coming nearly to a finish, I used a moist uh, a brush with water just to clear any excess that come through, cleared that up and then, then just wiped them off and polished the, the windows. No problem at all, so that was okay. As you can see, I'm quite happy. The black line along the side is as fine as I could get it. Um, Another thing I've learned, if you build this kit, I would actually leave the back section off. These bits where the fins are off and actually spray the thing and then you can get a, a nice brush all the way along there nice and finely. And I use this brush, and I mean, it's a paint brush, uh, but it's a pen, there she is. So it's a paint marker pen, but it's actually quite nice and that I use that to go along the side and I found it was really good but because I had all the bits on the place I couldn't get the nice edge on it I wanted but I will do next time if I ever do one again but I have got the car version of this which will be also the bond version because I've, I've got the same number plates and without all the extra bits and pieces on it and it be the car version and I will do that and I will, I will be able to do that anyway so that's a good thing Anyway, let's get on, just have a run for You can see it's I've got my little flory badge on there. Uh, I actually put a magnet on it. It does actually lift on and off if I do this. There you go. There's a magnet. I'm, I'm going to put two next time because two would be better because two would keep it balanced. So it does move if you knock the box, but not too much. That's the main thing. So here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it by the uh, machine. I'm just going to come around. There you go. Really happy with it. So... But like I said, I learned a lot doing this one and including the gloss work uh, all the way around. Oops, let's move that around. I think you can see that shine on that bit there. Now that, that bit there, which I'll, I'll point to it, this here is I believe there is something like a sonar thing. And uh, what that means is you can actually, I actually use the gloss part of it, clean the gloss uh, chrome off the back, sorry, left the chrome on the front, sprayed it with uh, smoke, uh, the lacquer of uh, smoke version from Tamiya, gave it two, I think there's three light coats over the top. It gave it a mirror finish and it looks really nice and it actually shines just like what a real one would do. Quite pleased with that, the way that turned out. Coming around. All the way around. The fins do move, um, but um, I'm not going to play with them because I think if you do move them too much, the actual plastic bit goes in will wear and snap off. So, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'll be tempted to, to glue them in place, but I'm, I'm quite happy the way I are. Now there is, you can see the propellers. I'm going to lift this up now. I'm going to, I'll lift this up then to show you the propellers. You see the gold there? There you go. It's all in nice and neat. So there you go. I'm going to put this back down before I drop it. And there you go. I use the lacquer paints again for the lights. Do it on the inside. If you do one coat, let it dry. And then go over it again. I, I did three coats under for the orange and the yellow, and I think the orange come out better using the lacquer than what I did at the front, which I used the original Tammy one. So I'd go with the lacquer one next time. I'm really pleased with that because it looks really nice, like it would do. So the, when I do the next car version of this, it will look the perfect, I think. Hopefully, there you go. So that's there she is. I shall put some photographs up for you as well. Uh, what I will say is another thing is because I had to do the top bit again quickly, I forgot to fill the indentations here and here where the actual clear part there goes up to the roof. And I forgot to do that. And of course it can be seen with light on it. So, but I can live with that uh, because it, it, this was at a deadline to finish by the end of this month and I've managed to do that. So that's good. So anyway, so I'll just bring it around a slight, a slight pose like that. And uh, that's the uh, end of this build. This build. Uh, really pleased with it, as I said. I'm going to varnish that bit of wood underneath there later. And I might even put another magnet on there so it levels it up. But Because uh, there is two magnets in the car, but I mean one magnet on the wood. So if I put another one there, it'd give a positive, more positive hold. 
it holds 50 grams and I've sent some more small dose magnets they're bl blooming good they really are anyway this is the end of this one so anyway we'd like to see because it's going to be close there be my last video for 2020 so in the next one will be in early January and that'll be the Churchill tank which I'm going to be doing a bit more weathering on that and there's some bit, bit, a bit of kit on the side of the turret and a few more chips on the bits and pieces so thank you very much for watching this and happy new year to every single one uh, out there including my subscribers viewers anyone's gone and uh, thank you very much for it's been a, a, a bad year in some ways and a good year so bad year for what's happening I'm retired so it's being forced to stay home was not very nice because we used to travel around a lot so but I can understand how people that are losing their jobs and that is far worse for them and I really feel deeply sorry for that and just hope that it all sorts itself out in, in 2021 and everyone can get back to what they love doing anyway so anyway happy new year and I'll see you in January happy modeling <laughs>